Pets should have a general health check with a vet when they first join their new family and at least once a year thereafter. During these checks, the vet will listen to your pet's heart with a stethoscope, which is a tool to amplify the heart's sounds. Through the stethoscope, the beating of a normal heart makes a lub-dub sound, like this. Sometimes your vet may hear a whooshing or swishing sound, usually between the lub and the dub, like this. This sound is called a heart murmur. Heart murmurs are caused by abnormal blood flow through the heart. They can be present at birth, in which case they're called congenital murmurs. Although the majority of heart murmurs are detected in adult dogs and cats having developed later in life. These are known as acquired murmurs. Heart murmurs can be soft and quiet, like this. or they can be very loud, sometimes accompanied by a buzzing feeling, like this. In general, the loudness of a murmur is associated with the severity of the heart condition, but this is not always the case. Heart problems can affect dogs and cats of any age and sex, some breeds, however, are more prone to certain heart conditions. And cardiology specialists can advise on available breed-specific screening programs. Sometimes these heart conditions can have life-threatening consequences if not addressed early enough. Some heart murmurs are harmless and don't require treatment, but others may be a sign of a serious heart condition. Regardless of how loud the murmur is, tests are always recommended to identify the cause of the murmur and whether it may affect your pet's health. If your primary care vet picks up on a heart murmur in your dog or cat, they will discuss with you the option of being referred to a cardiology specialist for a full assessment. An accurate diagnosis of a heart condition is based on Doppler echocardiography which is a non-invasive and sophisticated ultrasound scan to assess your pet's heart. Cardiology specialists are best trained to perform and interpret this test. They can give optimal advice for managing your pet's heart condition. During your referral appointment, the cardiology specialist will physically examine your pet and they may take a blood pressure reading, which is a valuable part in assessing heart health. For the echocardiography scan, your pet will need to lie still on a comfortable padded table. They may need a couple of shaved patches on their chest to help the ultrasound probes pick up the clearest images of the heart. Sedation is not required in most cases, and instead your pet will be gently held and reassured by cardiology nurses while the scan takes place. The recommended treatment will depend on the type and severity of the condition and will usually include medical management and follow-up assessments. In some cases, pets may require an interventional cardiac procedure performed under general anesthesia. These minimally invasive keyhole techniques are performed by a cardiology specialist using special catheters and guide wires under the guidance of real-time X-rays called fluoroscopy. Interventional cardiac procedures are often carried out to manage serious conditions. Examples include pulmonic stenosis, which is a narrowed heart valve obstructing blood flow to the lungs. This condition can be treated via an inflatable balloon catheter, like in this video. Another example is a patent ductus arteriosus, or PDA for short, which is a persistent fetal blood vessel causing abnormal blood flow between the major arteries. 
this can be treated by occlusion or the closing of the PDA, like in this video. Once your pet has been assessed and treated by a cardiology specialist, ongoing care and support is provided for as long as your pet needs. If you have any questions or you would like your pet to have a cardiology assessment, please speak to your vet.